How to report a Wilcoxon test according to APA style. First of all, what is a Wilcoxon test? A Wilcoxon test tests whether there is a paired difference between two paired samples. And a Wilcoxon test is the non-parametric counterpart to the t-test for paired samples. But how to report a Wilcoxon test? Reporting a Wilcoxon test according to APA style requires presenting key statistics in a clear, concise manner. Here is a general guideline on how to report the results in five steps. Finally, I'll show you how to automatically create the interpretation for your data. Number 1. Descriptive statistics. Begin by providing descriptive statistics for the two related samples you're comparing. Medians are typically used for non-parametric data. Example, the median score before the intervention was MD equal to 22 and after the intervention it was MD equal to 28. Number 2. Test statistic. State the value of the Wilcoxon test, which is usually denoted as W or T and the p-value. Example, a Wilcoxon signed rank test indicated that scores were significantly different before and after the intervention. W equal to 132.5, P equal to 0.02. W is the calculated W value. P equal to 0.02 is the p-value. Adjust this according to your results, for example, P equal to 0.045, P equal to 0.25, and so on and so forth. Number 3. Effect size. It's recommended to include an effect size such as R. This provides the reader with an understanding of the magnitude of the difference. The effect size R for the Wilcoxon test can be calculated as R equal to Z divided by the root of N, where N is the number of paired observations. Example, the effect size was moderate, R equal to 0 0.40. For the interpretation of the effect size, you can use this table. Number 4. Interpretation. Conclude with a clear, plain language interpretation of the results. Example, does the intervention have a statistically significant effect on the scores? Whether the difference is significant or not depends on whether the calculated p-value is smaller or larger than a specified significance level. The significance level is usually 5%. If the p-value is less than 0.05, there is a significant difference, otherwise not. Number 5. Graphs and tables. While not always necessary, visual aids such as box plots showing the distributions of scores before and after the intervention can be helpful. Ensure that any visual aids are clearly labeled and formatted according to APA guidelines. Here is a complete example. The median score before the intervention was MD equal to 22 and after the intervention it was MD equal to 28. A Wilcoxon signed rank test indicated that scores were significantly different before and after the intervention. W equal to 132.5, P smaller than 0.05. The effect size was moderate, R equal to 0.40. Thus, the intervention had a statistically significant effect on scores. Of course, when you calculate a Wilcoxon signed rank test online with DataTab, the summary in words is automatically generated for you. Just copy your data into this table, select your variables, click on Non-Parametric and Wilcoxon test and then click on Summary in words. Remember, when writing up your results, Aim for clarity and precision. Ensure that someone reading your report can easily understand the statistical analysis you've conducted and the implications of the findings. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.